In this video, we'll learn how to fix the Roblox error code 403 when you try to open and play Roblox. Welcome back to another simple app tutor video everyone. If you are getting the error code 403 when you try and play Roblox, then watch this video until the very end because I have a couple of different solutions for you. The very first step that we will do is to make sure that you are currently logged out of Roblox and you want to make sure that your Roblox app is completely closed. We can check that by right-clicking on your taskbar and then click on this task manager button. That's gonna open this window right here and you want to make sure that the processes section is selected. Scroll through these apps and make sure that you don't see Roblox in here. If you do, just click on Roblox and then click on end task. That's gonna close our Roblox application completely and we can continue to the next step. The first solution to this problem requires us to have admin privileges on our PC. So if you don't have admin privileges, make sure you log into Windows with an account that does have admin privileges. Now go over to the search bar in the bottom left corner of the screen and then type run. We have to open this run application which is under the best match and the type the following. Percent, app data, percent and hit enter on your keyboard. That's gonna open our Windows Explorer that's gonna look like this. We have to click on the app data folder right here and then select the local folder which should be at the very top of our page. When you open this folder, you want to find the Roblox folder in here. Once you find it, right click on that folder and then delete it. Maybe it will take a couple of seconds until this Roblox folder is completely removed from our computer. But once you do that, we can go over to the next solution. If you use a VPN while playing Roblox, you have to make sure that it's disabled. A VPN is quite useful, but it can cause some problems with the game or the connection and it can cause the error code that you see. In order to turn off the VPN, you'll want to go to the search bar one more time and type VPN. If you have some VPN connections in here, make sure that they are disabled and that you are not connected to any virtual private network. After these two steps, we'll have to reinstall Roblox. That's pretty simple to do, and we'll open any web browser and then go over to roblox.com. Make sure you are logged into your Roblox account. Now you can open any of these experiences and try to play them. When you click on the play button it's gonna ask us to install the Roblox player and that's what you want to do. So just download and install Roblox and go through the steps of reinstalling the game. Now we have to make sure that Roblox is allowed through our Windows firewall. If it's now allowed, that can cause problems and a bunch of errors, so in order to allow it, go over to the search bar and then type firewall in here. Now you have to find an option that's called firewall and network protection. You'll see these settings pop up over our screen, and you want to click on this allow an app through the firewall. When you get to this section, it's gonna look something like this, and we'll tap on the change settings option in the top right corner. Now what we have to do is to find Roblox on this list and then check the private and public boxes. Once you make sure those are checked click on the OK button and that way we will be sure that Roblox is allowed through our firewall. Those are the steps and solutions that we can use in order to fix the Roblox error code 403, but if you've done all these things and you still get the problem, maybe it's not a problem with your computer and on your side, but maybe it's a problem with their servers or something else. We can check if they have a problem on their side by opening our web browser and then we'll want to go to the website called status.roblox.com. Wait a couple of seconds until the website loads, and it should look something like this. This site will tell us if something is down or if they have some specific problem. As you can see, it says that everything is operational at the moment so there is no problem on their side. If you see anything on here that's down or something like that, then they have some problems and you will just have to wait a couple of hours until they resolve the issue on their end. So I hope that these steps and solutions helped you out and that you were able to solve your problem and play Roblox. If you did, then make sure to leave a like on this video and share it with your friends if they have the same problem. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.